First, there was a star that was like the star of David, hallelujah, that came on the earth, hallelujah. Like they did, the, the scientists believe that it was the same, you know, that phenomenon that happened during the time of Jesus, amen? For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, whose wish is, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and singing, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, and toward men, good, and toward men. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And it came to pass that as the angels were going away and from them unto heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go even unto the Bethlehem and see this thing which came to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe and lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning the child. And all that they had heard, it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary and all these things Mary, but Mary, all these things, and pondered in her heart, she wondered. And the shepherds returned, glorifying, praising God for all the things that he, they had heard and seen, for it was told unto them. And when the eight days were accomplished, the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, which, is, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of her... Um, purif um, of her purification uh, um, according to the law of Moses were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. And it is written in the law of the Lord, every, ma every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord. A pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons and behold there was a man in jerusalem whose name was simon and the man and the same man was a just and devout man waiting for the consolation of israel and the holy ghost was upon him and it was revealed unto him by the holy ghost that he should not see death before he has seen the Lord Christ. And he came by the Spirit unto the temple. And when the parents brought the child Jesus to do for him after the customs of the law, then took he up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now letteth thou letteth thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all men, a light to light the Gentiles in the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at these things which were spoken of him. And Simon blessed him and said, Mary to his, said unto Mary his mother, Behold this child set before thee a sign, um, set before thee, hallelujah, set for thee, the fall and the rising again of many of is, in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yea, a word shall pierce through thine own soul, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul, that, um, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Hallelujah. And there was one, Anna, pro a prophetess, the daughter of Phanael, the tribe of Ashar, and was of great age and had lived with a husband seven years from her virginity. And she was a widow in about fourscore and four years which depart not from the temple, but serve God with fasting and prayer night and day. And she came into this, she came, and she coming to that instant gave thanks likewise unto the Lord and spake of him to all them that looked for rede redemption in Jerusalem. And when they had 
performed all these according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee in their own city, Nazareth. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. So my teaching today was about Jesus, the greatest gift of all. If you go to Isaiah Chapter 9, 6 and 7, it says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. God knew all things, hallelujah. He knew that Satan was going to sin in heaven, and God knew that man was going to fall, hallelujah. And God knew that we would need a redeemer, hallelujah. So God provided a redeemer, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The most precious gift, hallelujah. The one that was closest to his heart, the thing that he treasured most, hallelujah, hallelujah, high am I he gave to us that we could be saved, hallelujah, and it, go, it goes inside and goes with what we learned this morning, hallelujah, and I didn't know what he was going to teach, but this is what God gave me, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, the mercy, love, and the compassion of God, hallelujah, it moved God's heart to redeem us, hallelujah, hallelujah, and it's a free gift for everyone who wants to accept it, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Many, hallelujah, are going to miss the gift. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says in Matthew in chapter 7 that many are going to say in that day, Lord, Lord, haven't I prophesied in thy name? Haven't I cast out devils in thy name? Haven't I done many great works in thy name? Hallelujah. So many are going to think they're saved, but they're going to miss the gift somewhere because their heart's not right. Hallelujah. And many are going to accept the gift, hallelujah. Many are going to come in, hallelujah. But then there are some that's just going to outright just reject it, hallelujah. The ones that think they're going to be saved, they're the ones that say, well, I'm a Christian, hallelujah. A lot of people say they're a Christian, hallelujah, but they don't walk the walk. They're not walking sanctified. They're not living holy lives, a righteous life before God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, this is a free gift, hallelujah, but we have to take it and eat it up, hallelujah. Just like we eat the natural food, we have to eat the spiritual food, hallelujah. Hiya, Messiah. When you eat the spiritual food, your body grows strong. Sometimes if you eat too much, it could grow big, you know? But that's the way we should be in the spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's the way we should be in the spirit in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. But for the, the natural man, we eat the natural food. But for the spiritual man, it's the spiritual food. The spiritual food is the word of God. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So when we're hearing the word, it's feeding our spiritual man. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When we fast, hallelujah, it strengthens our spiritual man. When we pray in our most holy faith, it strengthens our spiritual man. Hallelujah. It helped us to grow up into who God created us to be. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you go to John 3.16, most people know that verse and can quote it by heart. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. That's the most precious gift that God had to give to redeem mankind. Hallelujah. John 3.17-18 says, For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. See, when Adam sinned, hallelujah, it separated him from God. It separated man from God. God used to come down to the Garden of Eden to talk to Adam and to, to fellowship with him every day. Hallelujah. God it took, he enjoyed that time with man. Hallelujah. But sin separated it. Hallelujah. God couldn't tolerate sin. He loved him. Hallelujah. But he couldn't tolerate sin. The wrath of God was upon sin. Hallelujah. In heaven, when Satan sinned, hallelujah, it, sin, he was the beginning of sin. Hallelujah. And he brung the wrath of God when, you know, because of sin, God cast him out and all the angels, one third of the angels out of heaven. Hallelujah. And see, sin is not going back there. Hallelujah. And when man sinned because he listened to the devil, he listened to Satan. Hallelujah. When he sinned, hallelujah, it separated him from God. Hallelujah. So the wrath of God was upon the life of all men. Hallelujah. Hi, am Messiah from the time of Adam to now. Hallelujah. And the only way we're going to be redeemed from this is hallelujah. If we receive the gift that God has given us, which is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His only begotten son. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you go to Romans 5 and 17, it says, 
For if by one man offense death reign by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, and the gift of righteousness shall reign in, in life by one Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So one bring the separation, but one can bring uni the united the, um, union, hallelujah, back, bring us back to Christ, bring us back to the Lord. First John 3, 5 says, And ye know that he was manifest to take away the sins, hallelujah, and him is no sin. Sin. Hallelujah. He was sinless, pure, the perfect gift. Hallelujah. And that's when we are coming to this time of the season. Hallelujah. That's who we are supposed to be thinking of. Hallelujah. Thanking God. Hallelujah. That he sent his son, the most perfect gift of all, that we don't have to die and go to hell no more. Hallelujah. We can receive him. Hallelujah. We can be saved. We can be the children of God. Hallelujah. That's who this, that's who this season is about. Hallelujah. The birth of Jesus Christ. No, we don't know the date exactly, but we know he came and we know he was born and that's what we're celebrating hallelujah that he came and he saved us hallelujah from a terrible hallelujah and hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah thank you lord first john 3 and 5 says but ye know that he appeared so that he might take away the sins and in him is no sin first john 2 and 2 says and he is the perpetration of um for our sins and not ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Hallelujah. The propitiation, he's the atonement. Hallelujah. See, there was a price to be paid for sin. Hallelujah. We couldn't pay that price. Hallelujah. We couldn't afford it. It was a price that none of us could afford. Even if we all died together, hallelujah, to try to pay for that sin, it was a price that we couldn't afford. Hallelujah. But Jesus, hallelujah, the only begotten son of God. Hallelujah. He was pure. He was sinless. Hallelujah. He rabasoamah Messiah. Ha, oh, hallelujah. He stood in the gap. Hallelujah. He took our place. Hallelujah. He rabasaya, Messiah. Hallelujah. He rabasaya. And he gave us everything we need to be victorious in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. There was nothing missing at the cross. Everything we need here on this earth, hallelujah, to be who God called us to be was done at the foot of the cross when Jesus died and gave his life for us, hallelujah. Nothing is missing, hallelujah. I don't care what it is, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, or socially, everything we needed was done when Jesus died on the cross, hallelujah. And he gave us the word to speak over our lives, hallelujah. If you open your mouth, hallelujah, and you speak the word of God, you're speaking spirit and life over your life, uh, over your children's life, over your family, over your friends, even over your enemies, hallelujah. He gave us the word, hallelujah. Are you speaking life or are you speaking death? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And he gave us the word to cleanse us. If you go to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26 and 27, talks about the washing of the water of the word, that we be found without spot or wrinkles. Hallelujah. The word in you, hallelujah, is going to cleanse everything out of you that's not supposed to be there. Hallelujah. If you got wrong thoughts, uh, the word in you is going to clean it out. Hallelujah. If you got wrong habits, hallelujah, the word in you is going to clean it out. Hallelujah. If you depressed, get the word in you, it's going to wipe it out, hallelujah. Darkness cannot stay in the presence of light. The word is spirit, and the word is light. It's life, hallelujah. And if you feed on it, hallelujah, anything that's not of God, hallelujah, can stay in the presence of, of the living word of God. Because when you have God in you, hallelujah, which is the word of God, hallelujah, the devil have to bow, hallelujah. Oh, Rabbi Messiah, for at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and earth and under the earth for the glory of the Father, hallelujah. He Rabbi Haya Messiah, darkness cannot dwell in your temple. Sadness cannot dwell, Haya Messiah. If you feel sadness coming on, hallelujah, get more in the presence of God. Oh, Rabbi Messiah. Oh, yes, we're in this world and we all go through something. There's times when we all cry. Oh, Rabbi Messiah. But when you cry, reach out to God. He's the help. He's your help and he's your strength. Oh, he will bring you through.